Hey guys, this is your boy Kool-Aid, and we're here, we're going to go over a quick tutorial um, on the basics on how to build this launcher that launches from level 2 to level 511. Um, it, la it launches, what do you say, about 255 blocks a second. It takes about two seconds to okay. reach the roof. Um, by the way, I'm here with Pritch. He is the timing expert. Go ahead and say hey to everybody. Hi, yeah. And... Um, all this redstone, like I built the core tube and I had an original setup, but he came in, helped change up the timing. And we experimented with a couple of different things today just to see if we could change it up some, but we went back to this. And so what I'm going to do is over here, I'm just going to show you real quick about the tube. Um, we start out with like this, with three blocks, and then we come up a second and a third come across now this gives you your area to walk into and what you're going to want to do is put a fence a gate whatever right here so you can open it close it and down here you're going to want your water and the purpose of the water as you all know is to keep the uh, TNT from exploding all your redstone work and everything else <coughs> Alright, and so basically this is level 1 of the TNT and you're going to have 20 of these. So you're going to keep coming up, basically... Okay, the, the total height is two, 22. 3, 4, 5, 6, Almost 7, 8, one. 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 20. So you're going to have 20. The tube where it holds, it'll hold 20 TNT. And like he said, it'll be 22 all together because you got the two that you stand in there. There's the original tube and then to work on the timing um, basically there's not really that much of a delay I'm gonna let him look while he does this thing there but there's not really a delay so much as just the amount of time that it takes for a signal to travel through the redstone to the different sections seems to create enough of a delay that it creates one explosion um, I think with this actually there's what what did you say there's like one minor explosion like one very short explosion yeah, one ex the first explosion is 18 t and then the second one is 12. so it's basically like this almost insignificant amount of difference between the two explosions it just adds on the explosion effect after the first one so you basically get a bump and then a slam you you get bumped up and then poof, you get launched and um, so as you can see over here, we're going to look at this. He's coming out with the redstone area. Oh, do you need me to widen that zone there? The kill some of that bedrock? Uh, that's alright. You can see we are building this just like we did over there where it's at the very base level of the bedrock. It doesn't get, we can't dig any lower than this. And so this is um, the pattern that you're going to go by to come up and get your... Uh, Hopefully the same as the other one, yeah. Yeah. Basically, there, you can see the pattern going up the middle here, and that's where your repeater comes in. And what it does, it powers this block, for instance, and that power, that ignites the TNT. It primes the TNT behind it. And so this repeater block powers this one, this repeater powers this one, this repeater powers this one, and so on all the way down. And so once you keep the pattern, the rest of it's just a matter of arranging it so the TNT doesn't cross... Or so each level gets the power going to it. And you'll want to use a lever at first instead of a button. 
so you can watch it and see which ones are powered because one of these not powering the block correctly will stop up the works the TNT will ignite it'll blow that whole area and even though it won't destroy the bedrock or the obsidian it'll blow away all of your work with the redstone and we've done that a couple of times and it's really annoying but this was originally it was all short design we just I had the repeaters there and then the redstone and it all connected really fast and it was creating a whole bunch of minor explosions and no major explosion like it was just he would set it off and it'd be like boom 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 and so we knew I knew that couldn't be right so I had to wait I had to wait like a day for Pritch to get available so he'd come in and show me what I was doing wrong and basically he built the rest of this sculpture this timing sculpture here that goes around and somehow it works I mean that you think that the TNT, I mean the red redstone, and once you turn the redstone on, that all the redstone just automatically lights up at the exact same moment, but it doesn't. Just like a current in, a, in anything, it takes time, whether it's milliseconds or seconds or whatever, it takes time for something to reach from one point to another. Same as sound, same as light. I mean, it might happen super fast, but anytime you have a significant distance, even something super fast will delay the uh, action that you're trying to perform and so in our case we were trying to get a explosion and because we didn't have the right amount of delay in the explosion it was creating multiple explosions in the 20 TNT um, so once you get this you'll also be able to play around with it a little bit this is the basic setup as you see you come out here and you're going to build this Y. It comes up and attaches. I think the right side went to the one lower. Yeah. Yeah. One, two, three. One, two, three, four. Mm -hmm. That's like the, that's like the whole structure done, basically. It's just all the redstone. He's, well, nearly all the structure. Connections and then. Alright. <laughs> Bottom half. He basically wires this into two halves so that the bottom eight, right? The bottom eight explode together and then the top 12 explode together. But the, the yeah. two explosions are so close that when you hear the sound of the explosion, it sounds like they're going off at the exact same time. You can talk a little bit about what you're doing as you do it too. I can shut up for a second. So I do this. I just screenshot the look out there. Okay, okay. Out. <laughs> Pretty difficult. Eh? Oh, oh, I see. You know, a lot of this would be easy if 4J would give us inverted slabs so that we could... Oh, yeah, the, like the top half, yeah. Yeah, because then we could create levels and have the redstone running through and it wouldn't cut the redstone off like it does when you put a block across. For instance, let me show them while you're doing that. But you can do it right now. Um, you put a wire going up and then put a uh, half slab on it. It won't cut the power. But if I put a block, with, um, if I was to put a block here, well. whoops, if I put a block there, that cuts that power off. Yeah, if you put a half slab there, it doesn't. Right, oh no. Well, at least I, the last one did it, it didn't. Wait a minute, are you sure? Yeah, let's see. Oh. Well, look at that. We just learned something else. So we don't necessarily need inverted half slabs except for the uh, aesthetics. Because the slab already doesn't okay. cut it off. It also does it for glass. Yeah, glass. Somehow. <laughs> well. It also does it for pistons. Yeah. Oh, wow. Well, there there you go. A few things. Learned something amazing today because I had no idea.
Is that front one supposed to be on there still? No, it's like one up. <coughs> I need to take a picture. Yeah, I think it was this. I think it goes here, and that bottom one just broke. <sighs> and there's the top one to the dying all that. Picture? Like that? Yeah. Yeah, that's it. And then there's a dying one in the middle of that. That one goes up to the next one. That's the bottom layer, yep. Right. Yeah, and then yep. that, that, so and then that next one doesn't need the end piece here. This doesn't need to be there. That goes like up, yep. yep. And that's the bottom four on the right side. This is a space data. One, two, three, four, five. This is the different, yeah, the different. No, it didn't go up again. Yeah, that's it. Is that it? One, yeah, two, three, five. Yes, that four is done. You need to do this four. So I'm going to slow motion fly through this so that. Some of the guys that are trying to rebuild this can see what we've done on this side. Come around from the bottom. Come up to this level. Second one is two. Next. And then right here. And that's the top. So that's the four. One, two. Two. Two needs to be three. Uh, line. Basically, the pattern almost works the same way where you'll see it comes in and it also has its Y formation once it's done. Similar to this. There you go. That's the bottom half then. It comes in a little bit. Okay, that's eight. Bottom five. <laughs> so that's the bottom eight already done. Wait, you gotta finish all of the red stones right here. And. <coughs> And so that completes the bottom eight. And if you go down here and turn it off, turn it back on. Didn't make it up in time, hit my head. But, there you have it. Now it's just a matter of connecting the top eight, or the top twelve. And this is going to be a slightly longer video, obviously, because we're building this entire thing, so just bear with us. And Nobody learned it, but yeah. I mean, you can learn some stuff with us, because I'm learning as we go along, just rebuilding it. So what is this one? One, two, one out, one up. <coughs> one up. No. No, 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 that's not right. It's like this, whoa. Hang on. It comes out one, and then up okay. one. And then over. Eh? Oh, God. Like, see what I'm saying? Like, it came out one, and then up one, oh, and then over. This one isn't there. Comes out, yeah, go like out. Oh, I see. Yeah, like that. Level one. Oh, I'll go to that. 
And while y'all are watching this, if you if you start to put this together and you find ways to make to alter it, to make changes to it, to make it I mean I don't know how you can make it more more productive. I mean we are going from the actual bottom layer to the top layer, but maybe find a way that makes it faster, I don't know. Just uh feel free to comment, feel free to share, make a video response, show us how you did yours. Or if you replicate this somewhere, like on PC, like I know one of you is going to do, uh, show it to us, man, because I definitely want to see. I want to see what happens in a world that has no ceiling. And, in fact, you might even be able to take the same pattern, duplicate it, multiply it, and end up with a pattern that, you know, because I mean, we, have a, we have a 20 TNT limit on, on Xbox. Where only 20 TNT will effectively blow up at the exact same moment. On PC, you probably don't have that limit, so you might be able to build this same design, but build it 40 high, have 40 TNT igniting at the exact same moment. And then with 40 going off, you know, who knows how high you can go? Because I mean, we're bouncing off of 511, which means we could probably go higher than 511 just with 20. So you might be able to get a thousand, two thousand. I mean, I've seen explosions where they go really high on uh, PC. Seen that um, ultra dense cannon. <laughs> oh, I love the ultra dense cannon with the pistons that push it all in. That's. If you, if you, there's another one video he's got. He's got um live. It's all like what he sees, and it takes like ages just for it all to go off. Really bad lag. What, you had some lag? Here? Oh, oh no, it's on the video. Died, yeah. <coughs> yeah. So you can see this pattern here. I wasn't talking very much about the pattern since we got off on a little sidetrack there, but... I want you to be able to see it. A bit difficult, but I think it... If it does continue from, like, the bottom one. It just starts differently. Yeah, because you're coming in from the outside on these two rows there, and then... Not easy to see the pattern, do you? We're missing the connection from this layer to the next layer down. Oh dear. No, that's, no, it's going to be like this one. One, two, three. This is different. Ah, right. Uh, now to connect. One, two. Up. And that should be it. We got there, <laughs> eventually. And then no, we're in storm. Uh, test it. <laughs> uh, well, when you turned it off, it went off in layers. Yeah. Hit a top bomb off of the first one. I think that's working in the right button. Only one way to find out. <laughs> All right, so we're gonna let him do the launch there. See if it works? Yeah, buddy. Do your thing. <sighs> You can see him right here. Really but I don't think I was lined up properly. And he did go really <laughs> high up. Okay. But did you hear the... Because obviously I have my sound off so it won't create a weird echo in the microphone. Does it have a um, one explosion that you could hear or did it sound like multiple? Yeah, one and another. Right okay. again. <sighs> Oh, there we go. 5.11.
<laughs> nice. All right, and so real quick, I'm gonna grab a map and I'm gonna do one just for the video's sake. You got a TNT out? I didn't have any out yet. So I'm gonna get myself lined up. And how did you do it now? Did you line up directly in the middle or do you uh, do a little yeah, bit forward? Yeah, slightly in the middle. I think just a little bit forward, like um, the guy told us to. Okay. And so I'm gonna get And then I also held A. And hold A. Oh, I guess I should push the button. That'll work. And I went up 3.28 that time, but I wasn't lined up properly. Yeah, it can reach it, it's just, it's just how you position yourself. Right? Well, it has to do with that, the timing of your balance, like everything, it seems to... So we'll do one more try real quick, just for the video, and then we'll uh, back out and end the video. So let's uh, see what we got here. I feel like I'm not in the middle when I look down, but all right, this looks like it. So uh, push the button. There we go. And five eleven. There we are. Let's enjoy the fall. Look at all that land. Okay. Yeah. All right. So when you go five eleven, it puts you off as well, like with you. Oh yeah, yeah it does because the, the natural fall to the north or fly to the north or whatever. But it's still... Now I have seen 511, or somebody say they went 511 and dropped back in the hole, but I think you can change your trajectory as you're coming down if you choose to. It does sometimes, it like depends on when you bounce on the side. It's like when it seems to go low, I was back going back inside, or at least one off. Okay. And that's went in, like twice. Alright, so that's the set up and the timing. If you have any other questions, throw some comments in the comment section. Me and Pritch will be looking. So uh, we can help you out if you have any questions. Um, and that's it. So say bye to everybody, Pritch. Bye. Yeah. The next one, I guess. <laughs> yeah. And we'll see y'all as soon as we work out some more, some more cool stuff to show you. We're going to start working on uh, horizontal cannons next, I think. <laughs> <laughs>